Hey, 8 fans and YouTube fans out there. This is Mike Gear 94 Gamer back again with another unboxing video. A 8 bit unboxing video again. And I got, you know, I talked about that M30 2.4G that I took back. So I got the Bluetooth one. That was from off that previous video. The other one, yeah, I took back the the one because it's not Bluetooth. So this one is Bluetooth. So I got this one in today. Yeah, the M30 Bluetooth gamepad, known as the Mega Drive or Sega Genesis one. But when you look at the controller, it looks like the Sega Saturn style because of the extra buttons. Yeah, they actually call them the six button controller. So let's look at the specs. Content. Contents, and uh, continents. Wait, wait, wait. Contents, continent. <clears throat> sorry. Con continents and Bluetooth gamepad and UPS. Oh no, no, sorry. U USB <clears throat> USB cable. And it works for let's focus, Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, and Steam. That's Pretty cool right there, yeah. And that's what it says on the back here too. The M30, there it is. All right, let's get her open. Oh, you don't have to flip the little thing out, okay. There's the little seal, put it back right there. And this is like one of those, like, opening up those phone cases ones. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, there it is right there. Let's open up further. Here's the controller. Let's put it back right there. Let's get the extras. The instructions. And the charging cable. Actually, now it's a C-type charging cable now. Because when you look on the, the front, on the back, wait, sorry, focus, focus, uh, it's not focusing. No. Oh. I guess I can't focus on that bar because you can see the round shape right there, like a Nintendo round shape in the middle. That's the C-type port, C-type USB port. So that's for it. All right, let's see what else is in here. I have a feeling this is mount in. Huh, nothing in there. That's just the itself right there. I thought it was gonna be like a keychain or a a little doodad that came with it like 8 o does well 8 do, but that's how people say it but I call it 8 bitto because it's like saying word Nintendo that's how my way alright enough of that I might have to uh, let's see here let's turn it on and see what it's like Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Well, that's the, it's like the four lights right there for the switch. See? Focus. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. Focus. See that? That's the lights right there and on the back. And now I can show you the, there's the, there's the port now. Finally, I can show it to you. And there's the, it's probably the sync button right there. And we look at here on the back. It says 8 bit -o M30 Bluetooth gamepad. Oh man, I can't wait to try this out. Now, when you feel this, it feels really nice. It's like a analog stick D-pad. Or they call it analog D-pad, something like that. And I didn't know about the star or the the heart shape button. I think that's gonna be like, I gotta learn what the new buttons are look like. So that's the start button. The A, B, C, X, Y, Z buttons. 
shoulder buttons, the L and R. That's it so far, and that's the light right there. Probably need to update this on the computer, so I might have to go on the laptop right there, so I have to pause the video. Okay, the controller is updated and I'm on my switch and ready to show you to start it. All right, press, press and hold Y and start. Here, I had to go to the controllers. Oh, there's no sound. Sorry about that. Let's see. Let's try it again. Now let's see if it'll pair. Huh. Let me try something else. That's my other controller. Sorry, that's my GameCube controller. Let me try this again. All right, let's see here. Uh, Press and hold Y and start. Hmm. It should come on. Let me start over. All right. Y and start. There we go. Oh, here we go. I got it. See, it pairs. All right, let's jump into a game and to try it out. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to let's see here. I have to move this a little back so you can see me playing it. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, that's nice right there. Well, it feels no lag, no additional lag. All right, let's start the game. Let's try out Super Smash Brothers. Hold on a second, let me move it back. There we go. Let's do a match. Not the match I had to close the... Okay, I'm gonna have to... 
I'm going to use my rule. I'm going to play a... Let's see here, um... Okay, let's see here, uh... I'll play... Maybe I'll just pick a random stage for you guys. And... Okay. I'm gonna add like eight players to make it cool. All right, let's see here. I'll pick. Let's see, what's my favorite character? I'll pick. Mario as, as well. No, no, no. Uh, actually... I'll pick Sonic, yeah. And I figure out what the star button is. It's the screen... Sh you take a screenshot. Alright. What else? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's the color. Yeah, let's do team battle. All right, just press start. Okay, here we go. On this controller. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Now it's very sen- it can get a little sensitive, but just not that really sensitive, sorry. I didn't mean sensitive, I meant like, it's really accurate, but it's, it, it's response is timing is perfect. Oh man, this is so awesome. Oh, oh, I just got out of the match. <laughs> Okay. Oh no! Ah, I can see if I can. Let's see if I can hit him. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> oh well. That doesn't matter. Yeah, the game. The controller is so awesome. Even when you're using a D-pad, it feels like kind of nice. It's like playing an old Sega controller, but that's what it is. Speaking of that, I'm supposed to get something in the mail. It's a Sega Genesis controller because I'm going to get an 8 bit uh, mod kit for that controller. I'm another going to make another Bluetooth controller. Just to give you the heads up, be, uh, a bit of fans. Yeah, you can actually play this on your phone, your 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 consoles. Or I don't know if you can play it on your. You probably need a receiver for it to play it on the consoles. Oh man, this game is so fun. I haven't played this for a long time because I've been playing a lot of Fortnite on my on my uh. PS4 and Switch at the same time, that they'll level up faster. But it's just really cool, though. It was also like for like an extra like, for like playing so solo, not solo like squad mode, or what else? Uh, enough of that. But oh, I have like two minutes and twenty five seconds. Yeah, about the controller, you can act. I told you about the, it can play on the Android, the the Mac, the Windows, and uh, yeah, I'm playing it on the Switch, yes. What else it says on the box? Oh, uh, I guess I can't lift it up right now. Oh! Uh, but I don't think it will play on the PS4 because this is meant for a Switch. But I'm sure it can also play it for the I don't think I can play it on the Sega uh, 
Genesis or Mega Drive because you probably need the 2.4G because it comes with a receiver. So that one, those controllers are not Bluetooth. So don't get those if you want the Bluetooth version. It's like an extra $5. But I got this on Amazon for like $30 and it was worth it. And I want to say, hey Bitto, I love your controllers. I hope you do a GameCube controller style, like it has like rumble functions. Like the Power A didn't have uh, all the features, but I'm sure, hey Bitto, I hope you like understand maybe you can step up your game and see if you can like make a as the a duplicate GameCube controller blueprint and make it like have all the like a it, make it Bluetooth and make it function for the I don't know I just got knocked. I don't think. Oh man. For this fan of Sonic, I had like five knockouts on myself. Sorry, I'm just eating gummies. Oh well. I guess that's the end of the match right now. Oh cool, we won. Hey, let's test out that button. Yep, it's the screenshot button. And this one? Yep, that's the home button. Yeah, it's a very re reliable controller. It's a the M30 Bluetooth gamepad. Well, I guess that's about it. Thanks for joining my unboxing video and not joining, like, uh, watching my unboxing video. This is Mike, <clears throat> Mike Unix 94 Gamer, signing off. Bye!